welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and unfortunately, turns out I didn't click hard enough on the start recording button. So you've actually missed me doing what I've done, um, which is probably about 10 minutes worth of blah, 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 blah. So you might be actually quite grateful for that. Um, <laughs> so let me catch you up. We're doing a chain pull. Um, and this chain pull... Is it, um, we've got a 20 by 16 canvas. I've already put my household paint on and um, I have started and almost finished. I think maybe even finished. Um, just a bit there. Putting Payne's Grey as my first colour down on the chain. Um, and the Payne's Grey doesn't have any silicon in it, but the turquoise that I'm going to use as my second colour um, did. I'm not sure how much is in this, so I'm just going to... Oh no, I can see it on the top. Sometimes when your paint's been sit sitting, you can actually see the swirls of the oil sitting on top of the, the water. So I'm going to and the interesting thing is I'm not going to cover this entire chain I'm going to leave a small gap I'm only using these two colours plus the white of the um, the white of the, the base And as you can see, I'm putting mostly a big blob and then trailing it off along. And I did the same with the Payne's Grey. I'm not sure if you can tell that. We're quite high up there. So to get the whole canvas in, I, it is a little bit... Okay, nearly there. Just leaving a gap between the turquoise and the next blob of Payne's Grey, just so that we can have a bit of white in the drag as well from the bottom. There we go. See, you missed the boring bits. It looks like a pretty necklace at the moment. <laughs> I'd wear a necklace like that. That's quite funky to me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this corner, this bit of chain, and sorry if my arm is in the way, but we're just going to pull up lifting as I go so that we get less and less of a length how's that I like that I like that a lot and I got Icky, icky chain in my hands. <laughs> I really like that. Now I'm going to do some more little tiny spirals, but nowhere near this because I want that just to develop on its own. I'm just going to layer this chain. And then drag it back up. Make 
maybe even have one go around the other way. Oh, I'm liking the way that's developing. Just going to put some couple more. And there is some silicon in amongst this. As I said, there's silicon in the turquoise. So we are actually getting some silicon cells in there. So it's quite, quite exciting. I think it is anyway. I'm just going to put one more over here. I like it. I think it's funky. Funky, funky. All right. So I'm going to let this dry and come back to you and show you this dry result in three, two, one. Well, here it is. And here's the thunder as well. <laughs> ah, crikey. I've been managing to get these videos done without the thunder in the background, but uh, sorry about this. So I'm really, really, really still liking this. It's just yummy. Um, I'm just, ah, I like it. Ah, does it get any better? Um, after I turned the camera off, I couldn't help myself. I got the, um, the torch out and had a go at these. And we definitely got a much cooler, uh, look to them all. This one looks like it's got like a worm with hair and eyelashes. <laughs> and this one looks like it's got a dragon with a white nose on the end of it. This one looks like a seahorse all curled up. And that one just looks like a hummingbird putting its proboscis into the flower. What do you see in these? Let me know in the comments. Now the one thing that's annoyed me a little bit is we've got a hair stuck and it's not gonna move. I actually can't even feel it. So normally I can rub my fingernail over it and get it to move and then peel it out but it's not coming out, which is annoying. But it's on the white, we can paint over it if we need to. And it's just so pretty. And the cool thing I really like that, you know, lots of plate on, this is actually quite a turquoise color. To me, it's looking quite blue on the screen. It's quite turquoise. But because I left the gaps between the colors, you've got these little segments, each of its own little segment separate that I could take and just sort of play with around on um, on a fabric design. I might have lots of time to do fabric designs when I'm staying at mum's so who knows what I'll get out of it. But there you go guys, I've, I like this, I'm pleased with it. 
I'm not really sure it would sell as a painting on its own, but if you'd like it and you think it's cool, then contact me. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Mum's still in hospital. Uh, tests are fluctuating. One day she's really well, one day she's not. So, uh, as I said, I am doing some bulk paintings in the lead up to me going over and living with her once she is um, released. Uh, she will need some care and I have offered to be that. So, I'm hoping to have these built up over the next few weeks. So. Um, what I'm what I'm planning to do is just paint the original painting and record the endings on the day that I post them so I won't be recording endings and uploading miles in advance I might pre-record the showing you the pictures of it but um, that way I can keep you up to date with where mum's at because I know a lot of you um, really enjoyed knowing how well she was improving when I was with her um, a year ago when she had her fall. So um, I will keep you up to date at the end of the video. So any information about mum will be in the dry portion of the video. Uh, if you don't want to know about that, just turn the sound off when we get to the dry bit and you don't have to listen. Um, thanks again so much to all my amazing Patreons and um, people that donate using the PayPal button. Um, I'm so grateful. I, I think everyone that's a YouTuber at the moment is taking a bit of a hit on advertising revenue because the adver advertisers just aren't out there during this time. Um, so super grateful for those of you that actually put your hand in pocket and contribute to me being able to do these paintings and I'm just so grateful. And for those of you that are watching and desire to contribute to all of us that watch, you know, um, YouTube Red is a monthly payment that then every video you watch is ad free and we still get paid. So that's another option if you would like to contribute to all the peeps that you watch throughout a month. And I think there's only like $15 a month or something ridiculously cheap. But um, if that's something that appeals to you, you know. And hey, just let the ad run for 30 seconds and you don't have to pay anyone any money and we get paid. How's it getting any better? <laughs> Anyway, my sweet friends, I adore you. I'm so grateful that you come and watch and like. And I I adore the comments that you leave. I'm just so grateful that we get that chance to interact together. And um, I will endeavour to get us a live stream before I go away. Maybe even two if we're lucky. And um, yeah, so stay peeled to your emails if you've signed up on my email list. And uh, play with you then. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.